Pandora. Keep them girls wet, wet, wet. Yeah, they hating, but your ass still impressed. Still running shit in case you forgot. And they all wanna open up Pandora's box. Oh, I think they like me. You are not alone. Oh, we ain't get the bell. I just felt like everybody else was choosing it and they felt like we was a power couple so I went along with it. That's where I fucked up as. I could tell that he was upset over my decision and choosing her over him. So I got irritated that he felt some type of way about me choosing someone. So I felt like he was entitled. Because I chose her as a date, you felt some type of way. Enough for you to say something to me. You want me to respect you and call you a guy? Fine. But when you stand to me, and you stand to me as if you can stand with me, against me, I'm not going to treat you like a guy because I have to remember that you a girl at the end of the day because in reality a when girl i at the end of the day what are you talking about are you a girl or you a motherfucking nah, guy i'm a dude do like, you got a dick a do you got a dick it don't matter okay don't so matter my thing is bar. this I when when i get there i gotta remember that you are a motherfucking girl at the end of the day okay. see they don't Come see on. the vibe the connection but it's strong you it's my tough. person that's why you my person yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. What? What I tell you when you came to me? What did I tell you when you came? Let's wrangle this up real quick. Yeah. We're gonna cut. Y'all, um. All right, all right, everyone, everyone, you can go dismiss. Uh, we doing a talent show. I'm sorry. Fortune in the fountain, and I just want the fortune in your had your last name. Oh, oh, at seven o'clock on the dot, don't need no usher. You gon' beat me up like Scotty, better grab them towels for this gusher. Word to my birthday, I'm a lion in this jungle. It's me and you giving these goods for life, so you know you better not fumble. Look, if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. I said if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. Pandora. <sighs> you couldn't tell me we didn't have it when we got them four bells. You could not tell me we was on to some greatness. Then we dropped all the way down. Four matches last week. One match this week. Just one. Damn. Well, they got one match. I don't know what happened. People started doing what we did in week two like don't do that like you just doing random things <sighs> i feel like it's i feel like it is discouraging to go from four to one so i feel like it, that's gonna throw us off too just to feel like do we backtrack or do we just keep trying to do something completely new every time or, people are going more so off of vibes than they are much so off of compatibility which are two different things because i can vibe with you all day but as far as three years from now are we still going to be together because we're actually compatible or i'm just living in the moment vibing with you right now and this is what feels good people are feeding trauma and not really looking at compatibility because they don't listen to me that's just that they don't listen to me People be coming to me behind the cameras, you know, saying, you know, oh, you cool. Yo, you're right. But then when camera's on, it's something totally different. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know people be people and whatever. And that's why I've been standing on my, my ground ten toes since day one, saying the same shit. One match. Like, one match. Because y'all don't listen. <laughs> y'all don't listen. 
I knew it. <laughs> I feel like since me and Mello found out that we got that no, I feel like it just was like um, battleship, like uh, the ship got hit with uh, a motherfucking whatever you call it, and it just exploded the whole ship. I feel like it just caused the ruckus in the whole atmosphere. Like everybody became confused. Like everybody just didn't know what to do. I feel like we all had it like right, and I just feel like it's so crazy because a hint is supposed to help, but um, it, it definitely pushed us back. <sighs> Disappointing. I don't even. I don't know who my person is. Like to be honest, there's only two people I've connected with. It's Rayshawn and Lex. What do you feel about um, Q being really into Lex? That that that's what is hard, cause uh, you know that's my Brody, that's my road dog. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to her about it and uh, see. At the end of the day, like you know, just seeing who the match is, like, cause feelings got involved. So it's like, yeah. I'm irritated as fuck. See what happened when you, uh, 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 too loud? You look stupid. You look fucking stupid. Because I could have sworn Uno was my person, but if we only got one bill, and I know for a fact that Danny and LaVey are a match, like, who could be my person? Like, I don't vibe with nobody else, like, literally, nobody else in this house on that type of time but Uno. Um, this week was really disappointing, um, I think, for everybody. We was doing so good. We was at four matches, now we down to one. Um, but honestly, it, I think that everybody kind of expected it. Like we, it's been too much going on. It, it's just a lot going on. It's because the switch that happened, it shouldn't have never happened. So it's like, like I told them the morning, like y'all should have just switched y'all self. And, but which Melo did any cause chaos because the switch like the shit you get mad about bro like grow the fuck up and i don't give a fuck motherfucker feel any type of way <clears throat> i'll drop loads i'm living like that i feel like people lost hope they lost love um compassion um i feel like everybody just checked out mentally but um Hopefully we lock in, you feel me? Ridiculous. All that strategizing and trying to apply and do motherfucking, what's them things, brackets, like you playing on like some kind of betting sport, like, nah, like let's just, we was doing good. So you decided to just toss everything up when we had four matches, toss all that out the window and start from scratch. And you got one, that's what you get. That's what the fuck you get. I hope y'all do better, like, just do, but I really don't get an opportunity to um, do the choosing, but um, do better, choose better. Y'all, it's aggravating. I was lost. I'm, I'm lost. It, the fact that we went from four to one is crazy. Everybody got into each other's way, thinking too much. I really do think so. It did get stressful, but um, I don't know, I just feel like uh, the week coming, like, we're going to do a lot better. At this point, I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see y'all trying to snap back in. I don't see y'all, y'all really wanting it. I don't see it at all. But I'm, a, I'm trying to give it, give it a shot, okay? But what... Well, I don't, I don't really, I, I'm not really much of a, of, a, of a three strikes you're out type of person. I feel like you strike the first time, all right, okay, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get to you. That second time, I feel like, shit, bitch, you the fuck done, okay? So right now, y'all already on two strikes. <laughs> so me doing this third strike is strictly out of grace because crew decided, add on a nice little plan, and if y'all agree with it, we can move forward. If y'all don't feel like y'all want to agree with it, we can get the hell on. I want, I want y'all to have a great experience. I want y'all to find some connections, whether it's your match or not your match. I do not care. I want y'all to find some connections. I want y'all to try to really give this experience a good chance. Because this is what it's here for. It's, it's literally just a love show. <laughs> but y'all, I don't know. I'm not feeling any love going around. So we got this last little straw, desperate times. We're going to try this last little thing, 
if y'all want to, if y'all unanimously agree on this last little thing. If not, if there's any objections, if you feel like, nah, fuck it, I don't care, I anyone in here is free to walk. And I'm not gonna be hurt. You're free to walk. We got a talent show that we supposed to be doing. Y'all wanna go hard for this talent show. Y'all wanna let's loosen up. Let's get the vibes going. Let's have a good time. Cause it's a bunch of people in here that definitely know how to have a good time. Y'all wanna get these vibes going. Let's get it, let's fuck it up. And then, then y'all can get one more chance at a truth reveal. Do y'all want that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. All right. So let's get these vibes going. If this talent show is still as fuck and you get on the stage like, because you don't want to be here, then, 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 then you can walk. And I'm going to count you out real quick. As soon as you get up there and I feel like you don't really give a fuck, you can walk immediately. Yeah. I, I will help that. you pack. So we good with that? Everybody, we, we trying to switch it up. Is everybody on board with trying to, trying to change the vibes? Get, get right. Yeah. Is anybody feeling like, no, I can't change the vibes. I'm just going to be stale. I'm going to be whatever I'm going to be. Is anybody feeling like you can't get with it? Does anybody feel like they want to walk right now? Nobody? No, mama. We got this motherfucker free. So act like it. Like, Hey, y'all. Y'all know me as Chelsea. Well, at night, they know me as the hookah hottie with all that body. So, what I do every night, I create vibes. Like, people come celebrate their birthday, divorces, anniversaries. <laughs> with me so this is what I do best I work at the only lesbian bar in the southeast region so we get lit most of y'all you gonna come see me again so I'm making the most requested drink in Atlanta right now and they always request it wrong so we gonna make it how y'all request it it's a lemon drop but a lemon drop really is vodka instead of tequila but everybody's on the tequila wave right about now that's fine how long is it working here? Um, it'll be two years this October. And I started off doing hookah. I've been working in nightlife for six years. So I started off doing hookah, and now it's just time to go. That's why I came to find my person so I can go. Where you at? Come get me out the club, babe. Shit. I don't want one. Yeah, I tell him to Uh-huh, Mellow. <laughs> I'ma pour y'all, I got some more to make, and... Anyway. I'm gonna be a little strong. I'm not playing. <laughs> I know it do. It's busting, busting. <laughs> this is the, you said it's the most popular <laughs> Yeah, in Atlanta, y'all always order it wrong because it's supposed to be vodka. Huh? I don't want vodka. <laughs> we drunk the talent. We drunk the talent. We drunk the talent. But that's it, y'all. That's all I got for y'all. Um, I'm gonna be doing massage therapy. More specifically, um, hot stones. I got my little travel kit here um, mm -hmm. of my hot rocks. I like to start with um, some warm towels <clears throat> to warm the skin up. But like anybody who go get their feet done, like you should know this process, you know. It's just the same thing, I just don't do feet. I use a lot because you never want to put the hot stone straight on the skin because it just doesn't feel good. It's not going to feel good to the person. It's not going to feel good on your hands. It's not going to feel good to anybody. It's going to defeat the purpose. So you want to make sure that you oil the skin up, like really oil the skin up, get it nice and lubricated. How does that feel? People vent to me about a thousand and one things, like, you know what I'm saying? And I love it because sometimes you can tell, like, these people don't got nobody to talk to. Sometimes I think they just come to me to talk. <laughs> and that's fine. And you get a massage with it. So, like, again, it's never just a massage. It's, it's more to it. But, um, my heart... My little massage, that shit was really, I liked it that it relaxed in my body. I had some massages, you know what I'm saying? I kissed her a couple of times, you feel me? Her lips off. But um, besides that, I guess we, we can find out that in the, I don't know, later on sometime. Find out that when? Hell yeah, I hit Donna. Okay. What? Was I not supposed to? What you mean? Look how thick she is. Oh. Shit, yeah. Through the water. Just like that. My name is Chosen, and I'm going to rap for y'all, okay?
I ain't screwing up to me and my truth Cause my drip is religion, yeah Let these hoes arrest, you can call me a martician No BBL, my waist neck, this fuck mess straight face My foot up like a kick ass, go pop shit and get kicked back My game red back, quick flat, then move away in office Got a rich nigga out of Philly, but I call him Bill Gates I got 50 in my bag It's, it's toxic, like the, maybe it's the, we be going back and forth, like we don't come to common grounds, but I cannot seem to get a, get that Louis Percy out my head, like, you feel me? I cannot seem to get it away from me, like, for real. <laughs> Chosen actually shot the shit out of me with his rap, like, that shit was lit as fuck, he put on a performance, he's definitely a performer, so I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Good evening, you guys. Mm -hmm. Normally, uh... I'm very enthusiastic about the singing, but we turned up, okay? And the reality of it is when you sing, it makes it harder to hit your notes when you turn it up. So, but we gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna sing uh, original, it's called, it's called Speak To Me, here we go. Not a shame. To tell the world you, 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 you love me. Okay. Yeah. Like you never loved somebody else so again. Keep it real with me Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah right. Um, I know man, Nunu, he killed it. Oh my God, he have a beautiful voice. Okay, hey everybody. Hey. My name is Kima and today the talent that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a poem. Um, I've been writing for a very long time. It used to be something that basically helped me express myself as a child. Um, I saw a lot of things, I went through a lot of things, and I didn't have anyone to talk to, so I wrote everything down. Um, this is something that I wrote today, so it's not really my best, but it's short and sweet, and we're gonna get into it. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Over time, I've gone through so many phases. Years have passed. Happy days, slow days, and the days I'm sad. Days I can't remember and days I can't forget. Some days I feel confident and some days I wanna quit. Some days are harder than others and some days seem like the best, but every day I'm changing, better in myself. Some days I feel pretty, most days I don't. Every day I smile, but I still I wonder if it's a front. I've cried many nights asking God why, why I'm not enough or why I keep wasting my time. Why do I love love when love always hates us? Why do we hide all the trauma that made us? Years have passed. Happy days, slow days, and the days I'm sad. One day I woke up 
and I changed my mindset. I prayed and I prayed. I cried some more. I woke up again and I prayed some more. Today I'm still healing from the things of the past, but today I'm pledging to myself to no longer be sad. Q, you feel me? I'm an actor, a model, an influencer. I do it all. You know what I'm saying? Karaoke, I do it all. I ain't know which one I want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit y'all with a monologue real quick so everybody can get their night on. All right? Oh, wait. What? Yo, you mean like, go out as in like a, a date? Oh, uh, shit. I mean, I would love that. Like, oh, trust me, I really, really would. But, man, I can't, man. Me and Addison been going through things. Shit. She's still getting old with things. And, like, for her to find, for her to find out that like, you and I was, bruh, it, like, totally, like, killed our whole vibe. And, honestly, it's no, girl, it's no girl on this planet worth doing that to my best friend. Sorry. Hey. And Q, when she was doing that little acting thing, I said, okay. Q got in character real quick. She made me think she was really talking to somebody. She said, oh yeah, and you over there? I said, who over there? I thought she was trying to fight. I, I was like, why we gotta keep going at it? When she kept going, I'm like, oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, we good, we good. I like that, that was good too, that was good. I'm Danny. My talent, I'ma sing. My voice probably a little shot. I've been singing all day. And the song I chose to sing is uh, Looking for Love by Motai. Uh, I might get in my feelings, I might get a little emotional singing the song because if you listen to that song, it's a real true meaning. If you really looking for that. See, I've been looking for love. And I found it in you. My dreams come true. I never loved anyone the way I love you, baby. Oh, Since so many nights, so many nights. I pray for this love you will send out, send down to me from heaven above. Okay, hey everybody, I'm Ray, Rashana, whatever you know me as. Some of you know, some of you may not know. I'm a model, I'm a stylist to uh, celebrities, designer, you know, anybody who wants to order, but. Um, I also do photography, you know, like I said, I design my own clothes, such and such. But today I'm going to give y'all a little model walk. That's what I'm known for. That's what I do. That's what I started doing. So I'm going to give y'all a quick little one-two. So I'm a little nervous, but, you know, we're going we gonna to get what we got. Okay. Okay. I'm Lix. Thank you. So my thing, my talent is mindful meditation. So we're gonna have complete audience participation. We're gonna close our eyes and take some deep breaths. A lot of people don't know we unintentionally hold our breath. So that's really bad for you. So you gotta be intentional about taking those breaths. So we're gonna close our eyes. Slow, deep breath in. Hold it. Exhale. Don't that feel good? Now we're gonna do five short breaths. One, exhale, two, 
Exhale, three. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. Exhale, <laughs> exactly. We don't do this. Okay, now one more. Long, deep breath in. We're gonna hold it. Now we're gonna let it out. You should do this three times a day. That's me. Hey y'all, I'm Yakira. What's good? Yay. So my talent really is I'm a chef, but it's gonna take a lot of time for me to actually cook a meal. So I'm gonna do a poem. Um, y'all pick a number one through ten. Eight. I knew. I knew. I don't even know why I, I did that. I, I should have did one through five. Okay. I don't have a title for this poem. I just kind of wrote it. Um, you picked it, so you never know how it going to end up. In the depths of darkness, I have known a life filled with struggles not always shown. But through the storms that fiercely blow, I find the strength to rise and grow. Each hurdle faced, a lesson learned. In the face of adversity, I am not spurned. But within me lies a fire so bright, a spirit that refuses to lose its light. Though the road may be rugged and steep, I'll keep more. I told you I'm tired. I'll keep moving forward, my resolve deep. For in the midst of chaos, chaos and strife, I'll find the beauty within my life. With every wound and battle scar, I'm shaped into who I'm meant to be, a mark. For a rough life molds me piece by piece into a person with inner peace. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's it. All right, what's up, what's up? My name is Uno, I'm finna do a little song. Hey, okay. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, say less, say less. I've been on the, I've been on the road. Her song, that shit was fire. Like, I could definitely bump that. Like, whether you in the club or in the car, like. Okay, so my name is LaVey. <laughs> Not LaVita. <laughs> LaVey the Lovely, please say the whole thing. LaVey you know. Okay. So my talent is singing. I'm gonna sing a song. Yeah. But listen, it's the first time I've ever sung in front of a room full of people. I sing in the shower, I sing, you know what I'm saying, but not in front of people. So, you know, y'all got to sing with me, hype me up, don't laugh, and if you don't like it, keep it to yourself, because I don't care. <laughs> so go over you, 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 you.
like to fight cause my mouth too slick. Baby, why you treat me like I ain't worth it? Make me wanna ride past your house and kick down your door and smack your chick. Just to show you love that is not having it. So in love with you like Sandra had the kick. You treat me so unreal. My name is Mello. You know? Nice to meet y'all. Yeah. Oh, don't be dull with me, goddammit. Hi, All right, all right, then. Y'all right, better pipe up. All right, then. Okay, that's what we talking about. Energy. It's the energy. Not so mellow. Well, you perk your energy. Not so mellow. Perk your energy. Perk your energy. You sit down. You fit because, because I got to tell the story. I'm doing this song because this song actually brought me a long ways. Um, I've been through a lot of shit in my life. And I'm a like totally changed person. I went from the streets to an entrepreneur. You feel me? But um, I could have been gone for 15 years of life. So you feel me? This is the story behind what was going on. It's called Crash Kid. I crashed out. <laughs> Crash Kid. Crash Kid. It's time. I'm nervous. Uh. Crash out. No one. I'm feeling nervous a little bit, you feel me? You, you turned the mic off. I did? Hey, Melo. What's up? Melo, man, you feel me? They say, Melo, where you been, boy? I been on my ass, nigga. I touched a bag, then I crashed in the crash. You know, look, broke it down, ran off with a bag, nigga. And now I'm back and running up, collect the cash, nigga. I switched the lane, applied the pain, they call me Crash Kid. Cause I be damned if I let you niggas pass me. Crash Kid, boy, I'm on that five, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I ain't get up in the side lane. Crash Kid. Y'all yeah. know I'm literally so nervous I have to sit in this fucking chair right now. <laughs> it's you know okay. Um, I'm just gonna do a little something, something for y'all. Sing the song, you know. I am a little self-conscious about my voice because it done fell off over the years, but you know, uh, this is it. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is Teenagers, I really don't mean to hurt her, but I need some time to be alone. But when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. I want to leave, crying a heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be. Where I wanna be. So we little did a baby. Yes. I don't mean to hurt your baby. My name is 
is Pat Amaje. Hey, Pat. I will do the best that I can. Okay. That was your warning. <laughs> okay. Back in front of my head, like, just whip it. <laughs> whip it real good. Whip it real good. Whip it real good. Yeah. Let's go. Are you whipping me? Let's go. Party. Yeah. 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 Ye
I don't know, that was like a real moment where I just felt like this man really is in love with me and um, I didn't expect that because he's very, sometimes he can be real hard for me to like get to. So that moment he became vulnerable and um, I just felt like, oh my gosh, like we really in love and it just happened so fast and um, this is like the man I want to be with, yeah. Like, it was so much emotion in that song and I feel like everyone's heard that song before but you could just feel his heart like I was bawling I think I don't think that it was a dry eye in the house I just I love love I'm just a lover girl and when he started he said chosen into song it was just over at that I'm all choking with him and he started singing for chosen you see chosen try to fight back the tears but I'm it's so much intense love with them I I, I love them so bad like and that moment right there like I, I really love that I, I I don't know it just filled me with so much happiness <laughs> all right what's up y'all um it's DJ Daryl you know <laughs> appreciate it um so I DJ for fun, you know. It's my first time actually having a crowd, so I'm okay. a little anxious. But well, I'm excited. I'm excited, so. We love you. <laughs> right back at you, right back at you guys. It'd be the first time. Yeah, oh. Turned the whole set up, you feel me? Like, yeah, you can see me shaking ass all night long. <laughs> Damn, killed that shit. I didn't think he was gonna turn us up like that. We had a full party. My person house is $15 at the door, $20 if you ain't got no invite. Period. I love the talent show. I love talent. I love entertainment. I love entertaining. 
So that was fun. I think that loosened up everyone a little bit. I know it did me because I was so over it yesterday. I was over it. I was drained. My cup was empty. So um, I felt a little bit revitalized when the talent show came. The talent show was cool. I, yeah, I did my thing on that too. Everybody was fucking with it. I was a little nervous though, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just had to lock in before I tweak out. Chosen had a good one, he turned that bitch up. My nigga Mello, she killed that shit. I fucked with the little massage, Don did. Um, I fucked with Q, Q my dog. Uh, she did like a little monologue shit, that was tough. Kira, yeah. mm -hmm. her poem was dope, especially Kima. That shit took my soul. I love the talent show, I like the talents. Um, the, the guys had some voices on them. Um, I'm talking about voices that'll make you cry at any moment. It's a, um, a lot of talented people in here. Like, everyone's talented. Everybody did a good job. Everybody did a good job. The talent show was amazing, and I felt like that was a way we kind of got to know a little bit of each person and what they like to do or what means something to them, and that was, that was great. I love that. It was not my original talent. I couldn't do my original talent because we can't have fire in the house. So I couldn't do my original talent. I couldn't have smoke and flames. So I had to pull what was from in my trunk. I didn't have my right shakers. I had to, I had to get some lemon. I had to work on what we had in the house to pull something together. I'm sitting here wasting shit. I'm sleepy. Can't bartend sleepy? But they said it was good, honey. They was a little went to the side by the end of the, end of the little talent show. But the vibes in the talent show, everybody killed it. I don't care what nobody say. Uno, that's, that's, that's bass still. Even if that's not my match, that was like, get it, Uno. And Melo, Crash Key, yeah. Oh, I love the talent show. Like, um, we had done, my boys had done got shot. And then it's like, my energy was fucking off. It's, it just was so much, too much going on though for me. Uh, I enjoyed everybody act. Everybody, I enjoyed everything from the singing, the dancing, the excuse me, the poems, the dialogue. I, I I like all that. So the talent show was super, super, super lit, super fun. Um, I enjoyed it so much. Everyone has so much talent in here, like baby. But it was. Phenomenal. I mean, um, I know I like Will's performance. It was so good and from the heart. I decided to do uh, whip my hair back and forth because just that night it was just some bullshit. So it's just something I could just release myself and just be wild and just, you know, loosen up and just let people know, hey, shake my hair off. <laughs> oh, Darren was one of the other surprises he was uh, a mastermind at mixing uh, he's phenomenal Sean was a, was another one he was just he had a um, a great smoky voice I mean it sounded like something like I was really listening to a legend from Motown the talent show was really fun um, to embrace each other um, because as a gay artist I know for me I'm not embraced everywhere I go. So to be in a safe space with my peers and my community, it was just fun. It was like no judgment. It was like, and honestly, my favorite of the whole show was Darum. Like, I was so proud of him because you see a different light in him. You seen him like, this is my passion. Like, this is what I do. And um, I, I, I just love that. Like, that was a moment for him, and he'll never forget that moment because we was his first audience, and I think there's something he will take with him for the rest of his life. And that's what I felt like was important is those key moments that made it all worth it. Talent show was so cool. Yeah, I liked the vibe. It was cool. I, was, I liked how everybody showed their talent. Um, I was nervous as far as DJing, but I think even though I did kind of mess up a little bit towards the end, I think I did, I did good. Everybody said I did good, good. So it gave me the confidence to keep, you know, doing it. The talent show was super dope. Um, I love that everybody, uh, oh, well, only like one person didn't participate, but like I, I like to, I like the talent show because you get to see a different side of everybody. Um, even myself, I did my massage therapy and I felt like people got to see a more, like more relaxed me. I don't feel like I'm too wild or too loud, but you know, also get to see like the real calm and relaxed vibes that I'm able to give out, the more nurturing, caring side of me. The talent show was definitely needed 
to get everybody in the mindset of I'm human. Regardless, I know we fight, argue, whatever, whatever the case may be. But even if I saw somebody up there, their talent expressed through that. And I'm seeing a whole different person that I've walked around in the house with. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I felt like, I felt like that, that really just showed that we human at the end of the day. It brought it up. It brought it up. I feel like it just showed that we human, we be human at the end of the day. And everybody thinking, you know, you this bad person or whatever the case may be. The talent show showed that ain't none of us in here bad people. We all went through different walks of life. We all, you know, experienced different things or whatever. And I think it showed that, baby, you good. It's just come talk to me, you good, you know. Uh, so the talent show, <laughs> I was kind of uh, MIA for that one. Um, I don't know, I just had a lot of things going on in my head, emotions, physically, mentally, just drained, so. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Morgan, Michelle Brock. Yes, indeed. And your boy, David Alexander Thomas. And you guessed it, we are still here at the Buckhead Goats Farmhouse. Yes, we are. And it is week five of my person. Mm -hmm. And in this week's challenges, everybody's going to have to twerk for me. Oh, twerk. Twerk it out. Twerk, yes. twerk it out. Twerk you it guessed out. it. Mm -hmm. Twerk your hearts out, okay? Yes, but the catch indeed. is. So everybody's going to get a pouch and they're going to have balls in their pouch now. They have to get all the balls out without using their hands, but yes, they got indeed. to use what's in them pants. That part. Okay? <laughs> the first person that empties all the balls out of their pouch will get to win a date with a partner of their choice. Ooh. Work 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh yeah. We're excited, Alex. Not your feet, baby. Not your feet. Oh. Get the feet clean. No. Yeah. Alex, get the feet clean. Gonna go on a date with? Mm -hmm. well, Speaking to the mic. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Make the it yeah. Congratulations. I feel like I shouldn't have did that challenge, but I'm a team sport, so you feel me? I had to do it. But I ain't never twerked on national TV. Like I don't. You, I'm kind of. I don't do that nowhere actually. So I was like, dang. I was really trying to just figure out a way I can do it and not look so girly. But I, obviously they said that didn't work out for me. But it was fun, it was different. Like the games that you all came up with, like was real different. Like it was different. I, I actually liked it, that little challenge. You know, I was like, you know, I gotta get all these balls out. And I was looking at the way I was feeling, I was looking at everybody else and the way they were shaking. I was like at the up and down and the ass and that could work. So, you know, the way you bend, the whole literally be straight up and down. So I was like, I'm gonna just go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hoping my bones motherfucking bone because <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed myself. But I think I won. They talking about he won, but I think I won though. Um, Alex was twerking it out. What in the hell, Sean and the bag then? Who can do that? that I, I, I can't do that. Who can do that? So yeah, you know, he always got to, you know, up the competition. So that was that was really funny. It was easier to watch. <laughs> but it was nice. My uh my boo had won that one. No bones, just, he just bent back and all them shit just started pouring out. I was like, okay, well, he found the technique, keep it. <laughs> they was throwing it the wrong way. How you throwing it the wrong way? Throw it in a circle, throw it up and down. Just throw it somewhere so you can get that, get it out. They was throwing it in an octagon, just hitting the sides of the bin like this. But when, um, when Sean did his back bends and his back flips and shit, it was over with, I knew he was gonna win. Period. Um, <laughs> that was funny. That was definitely funny. Alex is funny. <laughs> um, I never, I didn't expect them to do that. You know, I thought they was gonna at least try. Most of them was grinding. Um, Alex really, he was popping that thing and it was coming out. You care? <laughs> All them balls was falling out. So, uh, that was a good challenge. You have come up with some of the best challenges. <laughs> For real. Thank you. Yeah, like the thought and the effort really put into it, like, it's amazing. The studs, they, they, they so rah, rah, they don't even want to twerk, they want to hunch, so. But overall, it was, it was laughs, it was laughs. She hunching, she stroking, <laughs> she said. <laughs> hey, Uno, Uno was doing a thing, her numbers. Now, if I'd have known it was a stroke competition, then that'd have been something different, like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't about to like, I don't pop my booty, I don't. It brought, you know, everybody out of their safe space. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Being closed off and it was able to get some laughs, have some fun. You know, people got up there and they thought they was gonna be shy and hell, they was the winners. And we was like, this is where that come from. Mello tried, she was trying, but she wasn't, she wasn't popping enough. Um, <laughs> she wasn't popping, she got what I asked for what? Like, she wasn't popping it. <laughs> I can't do shit either. They let me come up at the end, but I'm all broken and boozed up. It's not giving no, it's not giving jiggle right now. Kira was fucking, I don't even know. She got her hands on the floor, knees on the floor. I popped down, she, I don't know. She was all over the place. I said, go ahead. She was trying to do whatever she seen on YouTube. I know, like, whatever she seen, just whatever she seen. <laughs> I swear while she was sitting there, she went on YouTube like, uh, let me see how this worked real quick and just try to intimidate. But, um, <laughs> go girl. Oh my God, Uno. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> it was too, I saw you in there, huh? She, she, had home, she was at home, bro, I said, go ahead. She got in the corner of the fireplace, like, I said, damn, <laughs> god damn. I feel like that was fun. Um, I already knew that 
Sean was gonna win because he's like acrobat and all that shit. But that's what I love about him is that he's always himself. Um, and that's what attracts me. That's what attracts me to him. He's masculine, but I still see his feminine way. I feel like he still sometimes try to shy away from it because he wants this persona. He has short man syndrome. That's what I call it. Um, short with big attitude. I was so fucking embarrassed. Not in a way where I felt humiliated. Just that's not something that I do. I don't know. I feel like as a top, we get ridiculed so harshly. And I already am not a uh, extremely masculine man. I feel like I have masculinity. I feel like I'm just a regular gentleman. And so I was having a huge battle with myself. But I didn't want to let Kim down and make him feel like I didn't want to be a part of the competition for him. And I didn't want to let everybody else that was a part of the competition doing it feel any type of way. They were doing it and they felt ways about doing it as well. And um, I'm not special in that sense to where, oh, well, they can do it, but... <laughs> You know, so I did it and I was a good sport and it was fun. And if you feel some type of way about me being the top and doing it, kiss the blackest parts of my motherfucking ass. I could have won. If he didn't do that bat band, Sean, Lord, Sean. I knew he was going to win though. He be turking that thing. I didn't want to do that shit for real, but it was cool. I heard everybody was fucking with what I had going on, even though I ain't drop all the balls, but... It was cool. I didn't think that I would do that good because honestly, I feel like I could never twerk in the fuck in my life. So yeah, that, yeah, it was it was funny as fuck. <laughs> I would have won that though, just saying. But <laughs> almost, I have one ball left. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last one, two, three, four. I thought that was definitely right. Like, who else was? Uh, who else? Who, who else? Names who is, do we have to get the boys in line? Yeah. That's who so we fucking um, shit up. Now I think we just like the way you talk to us like that. Exactly. Yeah. The fuck? You like my voice? It's on you all. Yeah, but at first I was just like, you know, I'm down on my girl. So I was like, ah, I ain't gonna talk to her, but when we started talking about other shit, and then or we just started talking about maybe it is us. I thought you showed up with me. I was like, damn, do she not like me? I didn't like you because I felt like you didn't like me. No, I'm like, man, fuck her. <laughs> Cause when we had that little one-two outside the um, confessional room, I was like, I don't know why she thought I was being funny, cause I, I was just looking. That's how I be looking. Cause I shot my shot when I said what I said. And I shot. No, you did not. You swear to God, I did. I shot my shot and I was like, uh, 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 uh. And I was like, yeah, I'm lining up. I'm like. Well, you were flirting a little bit. Mm -hmm. I figured that. You didn't, you didn't catch it. You, we both been kind of locked in the whole time. We have. We had to lock out now. But you know, nobody seen how, because we was in the car. There was no cameras, no, no nothing, no like room cameras. There was no shit. We was in the Boy. car just for a good minute. When Big we came body. back in, they was, everybody was like, they're like, what the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, we we just going to slide in. So shit, that's the plan now. Uh. Don't, don't, don't switch up on me. Oh, you know, I... Are you, oh, you stand on business? Uh, oh, yeah, stand on business for me like that. Uh, see, okay. you messy already. Right. You messy already. And it feel right, so. Yeah, it do. It do feel right. It feel just It easy. feel right, like... Easy. <laughs> you say who? See, dog, come on. <laughs> We need to go before they notice that we gone. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> we've been talking, we've been chopping, you know, without the cameras. Y'all know I be low key. So, we done been talking, chopping up behind the scenes on the one, two. Had to slide. Everybody say I'm always talking. I feel like we slid on them. We slid on Like for real, I feel like if we would have been like, you know what I'm saying? Because you was standing on business. 
with your person. You so. was standing. <laughs> you you, were, like, you were standing on business with your person. I mean, shit, I was open though. So, but once we did, like, you know, go to the side and really talk. I understand you too. You feel yeah, me? you like she gets me. Like she gets like every part. And you is fine. You know, you, you know, got to. Like, you know, you and can. I can still pick you up if I want to. You feel that's my type of critique. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I was like, alright. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I had to shake the room. We like had that, to shake the room because I know I was uno, 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 but it's actually <laughs> mellow, mellow, mellow. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah, we done had some talks, 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 and some, yeah. And I, I, like, and I like the aggressive. Like, I, I like the way you talk to me. Like, yeah. Like, girl, just go get the fucking, where your phone's on call? <laughs> you feel me? Just go get it. And get she been keeping up my shit. Like, she, I don't I can be, I'm just a girl with Melo. You know? She can, yeah. We locking in. We locking in. <laughs> so when we did the strategy the last time, the strategy was working. Like how we try to do it naturally, shit not working. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody thinks that they did at this point. Whether it's fake or it's real, thank you for your dick. We need everybody on the same page. If I don't need no wild cards. We don't need no wild cards. Where's Q? That's the wild card right there, hell. <laughs> And shine, and shine. She's making sure. Okay, cool. She says she's coming down though. We don't. We're just like, no. Yeah. So if it doesn't make sense, speak up now and tell us why it don't make sense. Kira and Kima. And then. We're gonna do. Donna and Danny. Lex and Alex. Mello and Shanti. Me and Mello. Q and LeVe. And Uno, you're gonna be with Ray. And on the and boys' side, we want we kind of want the so boys. So the boys, because I think the four, yeah. the, the switch, four the, the, the all switch, boys. the switch, yeah. with him choosing him was yeah. was yeah. off. So yeah. me and him is gonna come back. Him and his man, and them two is gonna stay originally how it was. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so you're, you're so, right. Yeah, because yeah, the boys are good. Still together for sure. Yeah, because all the bills was probably y'all y'all side. Right. To be honest. Cause yeah. our for sure, what we thought was right was wrong as fuck. Both of our, it was wrong as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So it's everybody got their match. Yeah. 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 One person gonna feel some type of way, and they not in. Yeah. And they, they, no, they, yeah. And right. that, and right. all we should go back and offset the whole motherfucking shit. We can't let one person offset everything. We don't want one person to offset everything. How you so, feel, sis? How you feel? How do you feel? I feel a blessing, highly favored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's a great time to be alive. Today's a new day. Okay. Somebody didn't wake up today. So um, so y'all. So, uh, and we'll get back into it. So, we'll like you yeah. and for the match ceremony, we, we did the strategy, we picked, we did some calculation and shit like that. We're gonna put you with LeVay to try it out. So, this is what y'all did. Uh, okay. Okay. However, how you feel about that? You right? I mean, yeah. honestly, like I don't like. I just feel like everybody putting too much into it. Like it's it's like. We really but not are you are you are you? Really you but y'all ask me a question. I'm answering the question. You gonna let me answer it? You right. So in my opinion, I just feel like it's too much thought put into it. Okay. But I, mean, so but are you I don't okay? mind. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind. It's, it's okay. whatever. We just want like a smooth match ceremony, like no arguing, no. Crazy like, shit. Yeah, like, I want us going no. back and forth. Yeah. Please and right. show love equally. I see me seeing y'all do that sometimes. Y'all clap for certain people and shit. I think that's whack. Right. We're all yeah. here as a team. You know, you know what I think is whack? You know what I think is whack? You know what I think is whack? That I got tried the fucking first day. I got lied on the first day. A lot about what? And I pushed your leg. You did. Yo. You did. When did I push your leg? Y'all didn't know. No, I'm just saying. Well, but why it gotta be a journal when I talk? Because it's drama. We can't. How is it drama? Okay, don't worry about it. 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 Don't no, I'm like, why y'all like, can't arguing? Because they always take a fucking group. They had to have a fucking group discussion about me. But now motherfuckers want to get tough. She don't want this motherfucking smoke. I'm going to break her fucking jaw in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big fucking Louisiana in this bitch. Stop fucking playing with me. Like, now you want to get all buffed up? Like, you wasn't talking to me the whole time. You did push my motherfucking leg. The fuck I'm a lie fuck. I don't give look. Everybody in, ain't nobody for nobody in 
this bitch. <laughs> it's too much. Y'all come on. What the fuck? Damn, bro, her hand could have been through that fucking door just now. But I'm respecting y'all. I'm respecting y'all. I will break that bitch up in here. Y'all could have been on the phone. Soon as she said hello. <laughs> Why? Because I chose your bitch. It's alright. I don't want her. <laughs> I don't even want her. Okay. This nigga started clapping. <laughs> like this is this is my life. Like in real life, like this is how people treat me, and I don't even do shit. But we just like, said less ceremony that we wasn't going to strategize this ceremony and then they come up with a different strategy this really? ceremony mm -hmm. but it's then it's like we already kind of was on point like we knew what we was going to do this this yeah. week but i don't care like, it's always a fucking meeting about you it's just but like, it's like they asked you a question and then as soon as you went to answer they interrupted you hello and it's just like damn like give her a chance no. like, like you be it be the demons the like, the go, like go go heal that's what i did I feel like there is a lot of healing in the house. I do, what did I do? For real, for real. You literally popped around the corner. <laughs> like, you didn't get a chance to do anything. Yeah. I feel like. I shine bright like a diamond, mm. I guess. Mm. God damn. All right, y'all. I just want to apologize. Um, not being able to perform my talent, the Night in Talent show. Um, you could, you could. Yeah, I was going through some things, but. Uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the show. I'm doing genuine pony. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Your other servant, David Alexander Thomas. Yes, and we are here with week five's match ceremony. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get straight into it, you know we got to recap a little bit. Yes. Go ahead and tell them what happened, bro. All right, week one, we had... One bell. Okay, week two, we had... Two bells. And week three, we had... Four bells, baby. Oh, you can feel the world. love in the air. Oh, but then week yeah. four, unfortunately, yeah. it yeah. took a turn. And Ooh. we had one bell. Yeah, we took a tumbo. But you know what happened? What? It was when they found out that Mello mm. and Donna were not a true match. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then the at the talent show, they found out some more news. They got them back to strategizing. We found out that Danny and LeVay were also not a true match. Ooh. And you know Danny and LeVay have been a couple every week. Yikes. So. With all this strategizing, we're going to see what they do. Hopefully, oh. we get those true matches and numbers back up. Uh, yeah. But if we don't, what we need them to do, bro? We need them to get out of their heads and back into their hearts. Yes, indeed. We're going to see what they do. We five match ceremony. Get it together. <laughs>
Sean, welcome to your fifth match ceremony. <laughs> Feeling like a little bit more energy, okay? So y'all think y'all gonna pick it back up? Last week y'all went way, way down. We not having that no more. <laughs> All right, so y'all y'all feeling good? Y'all feeling like, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, y'all got it in the bag this time? Yeah. We almost at the end. Y'all gotta have it together by now, right? All right, let's get started. Y'all know how this works. We're gonna go ahead and bring you up. You're gonna give the key to your person. Once we get you all matched up, then we're gonna let the bells begin to ring once the music stops. Nine bells equals nine matches. Zero bells equals zero matches, okay? Y'all think y'all got it? Yes. Let's do it. <sighs> Don't let me down. Q. Oh. <laughs> All right, Q. Who's your person? Well. Okay. All right. Well, this is—I uh, never even seen y'all talking for real. But um, how you feeling about that, Levee? Feel like that's a? Yeah, we had a couple conversations. Oh, okay. What's up? Go ahead and have a seat. Type of show this finna be. All right, let me get, let me loosen up. Oh, oh shit, cause this is. Okay, come on, come on. Next, the next one got it. I know, I know. All right, okay, okay. Okay, you know what? I will. Took that deep breath, flow it. <laughs> All right, Will, who's your person? Y'all know this has been such an experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, last week I had my person. Things kind of got a little bit heated between <laughs> us, but um, I like a person that can take accountability. So, uh, King, come get your key. Now, now I've seen y'all have some, okay. So I, I can understand this right now. I'm, I feel better. I feel like y'all doing it now. Let's, let's do it. Have a seat. All right, Miss Donna. About this choice um <clears throat> we finally got to have like some one-on-one -on -one and we actually got to finally speak so we just um see <laughs> that is us. okay you care what you feeling yeah i mean i like she's, she's a real cool person I'm okay see. all right work it out I, ain't, I already know who you finna pick i ain't finna call you right now let me let somebody else go for you before you fuck it up Deshaun. Y'all come up here every week and it be some new stuff. And y'all, what's gonna be this week? What we got? Who's Wait, your person? Baby, come on, you should have followed me up here, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, you gonna stick beside him? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and have a seat. <laughs> okay. I see y'all. Big legs. We 
week, I'm going to get my key to Alex. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. What you feeling about that? I'm good with the decision. I feel like uh, our first night, like, we did have a connection. You know, we talked and stuff. But, you know, I was expecting my bro to keep. But, you know, we're going to see. Have a little time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Miss yeah. Prashana. Uno, what you feeling about that? I feel honored, you know. Um, <laughs> I told you maybe before. People not acting like they're being chosen, so I really appreciate you. Um, we didn't really get to uh, have a real deep conversation like I really want to, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's get it, Chelsea. Somebody who I canceled out at first, but you like my voice. It's how you want. It came it on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me see. Tell me about that. How you feeling, Melo? I feel like she's big. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta talk to her a little bit. I'm like, oh, we need. You feel me? I like her. Okay. Have a seat. Let's do it, Danny. I'll be feeling like Tina Turner sometimes with this person. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Not Tina Turner. <laughs> <laughs> they are gone. No, 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 no. She ain't chill out. She ain't. What should be called? Like, for real though, like on all bullshit side, this person, uh, she, I, I got a conversation with her uh, when she first got here. We never talked no more after that or whatever, but she real chill, laid back. She got a story. You know what I'm mm -hmm. I kind of could relate to uh, some similar stuff that she got going on. Can What are you feeling about that, Kimo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be out. Listen, um, if you had a conversation with me, y'all just know how I am. I give it up and I don't care. I don't play around. I'm not going to play. If I don't like it, I'm going to call it out. And that's just what it is. If you can't take that, that's so that's where our strife comes from. And she's either going to have to learn, because she's not teachable, so she's either going to have to learn how to deal with me, in, in me, and, you know, we be able to work together, or it's yeah. not going to work. So, right. you can see, right. but that's, I'm standing on it. Yeah. 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 All right, we'll work it out. Mm -hmm. All right, so that leaves Darren in Panama. Yeah! Boy, the, the amount of time it'd be taking for y'all to get y'all yeah, 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 yeah. 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 we go. What we feeling? You feel uh, like it could be something? It's nice. Nice, okay, Darren. Um, I feel like I'm giving this key to him as 
damn because you know, I came on the show because I was daring, like... Go ahead, speak your heart. Speak your heart. Don't speak your heart. Keep going. We had your back, baby. You're good. Speak your heart. You're true. We love you. So, I'm daring because I came here to dare him. Like, I came here to see the best out of all you guys and, you know, dare dare you guys to show me the best of you and I'll do the same back. And I wanted to meet great people that way. And even like if you are cross the line or anything, you can tear them. Uh, I don't play either, but you know we've all been on a good level. And I'm still true to the damn aspect. Like I want the best from you guys, and you know come at me or if anybody is causing trouble or any kind of messiness. Like okay. I'll you know stand up like dare them. Like I don't I don't you know play. So I don't. Know. I just want you guys to know my name is Owen, and I'm like. And I'm Oakland, and we like you. With that moniker and using a different name, so you were the first person to know my real name. So. Oh, uh, oh, so so your ass done stomped off and made a damn scene, and he was trying to be sweet to you. So he was telling you that he is giving this key to you as Darren, but he also wants you to know he's giving it to you as Olin as well. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. All right, well, we are going to go ahead and get everything calculated up. How y'all feeling about these matches? Real good. Okay. Yeah. Y'all doing something? All right, well, we're going to calculate it up and, you know, we're going to see. There were some choices. Mm -hmm. So tonight, our matches are Lex and Alex, Yakira and Donna, Chosen and Deshaun, LaVey and Q, Nukeem and Will, Olin and Panama, Roshana and Uno, Danny and Kima, Melo and Chelsea.
That's it. What? What? Y'all got four matches this week. Y'all definitely, y'all came back up at least, and that's always a good thing. That means y'all going back in the right track. So we got one more time to get it right. We got one more time to get it right. I think that, you know, it's it, 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 obviously clearly it's half and half. Y'all halfway on the right path, but the strategy stuff could be possibly, you know, still keeping y'all on, on some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all, y'all, y'all trying to work it out a little bit. And I think that some of, the, some of these matches to me didn't make any goddamn sense. And that's just, and I'm, I don't know. Some of these matches didn't make no damn sense to me. So um, maybe y'all can tell me what y'all strategy was so we can make, so y'all can make me make sense of what y'all thought with some of these. That's all I'm saying. We're just trying to get back to the four. Okay. You know, trying to find service so because we know we still have one more week, so we try to at least balance out the four that we think that were the last one, so we could try to figure out the other ones that we don't think are the guarantees. So mm -hmm. I think that's what we were shooting for. Okay. But I mean, I think, like, you made it back to the four for sure. So if that was y'all's goal, yeah. you made that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, but it was also like the like, 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 deeper than the surface. So like, the, like how you talk to us, what do you really want in life and what do you really want out of this? Mm -hmm. That's what we were trying to talk to everybody. Like, what do you really want? Like, and what did you say that you really yeah. wanted? Not that what you yeah. said and then you get something different when you get here. Yeah. But what did you say that you really wanted? And like, yeah. In your mind, what do you really want? At the end of the day, are you here for love? Like, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. I think that y'all 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 get in there for sure. I, Y'all just need to tweak it just a little bit more. Just tweak it a little bit more. And I think y'all, y'all almost. Can y'all get a hint? Can we get another one? Pause. Can y'all get a hint? 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 Are y'all asking me for a hint as if y'all didn't get a lot of hints? I'm just, I'm like, I've been trying to help as much as I can without saying, hey, this one and this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of defeats the purpose. You know what I mean? But I've been. I've been trying to throw y'all bones left and right. Like I've been, I've been giving it. Y'all ain't catching them at all, you know? Everybody in here done came with me, give me a hint, give me a hint, give me a hint. Have y'all not, have I not been? I don't, I, I don't, I think that you, I don't think that you confused. I think that you just need to, Put that shit the fuck down. Put it down. It's too high up. You can't have it up. How's somebody gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Once you put it down, then it's, it's gonna leave space for somebody to, you know? You have to be able to receive. Yes. So, once you do that, you'll be, you'll be perfectly fine. Things will flow a little bit better, a little easier. It won't be so much button heads. It won't be so much tension. It won't be so much Ike and Tina. It won't be so much, you know, of any of that stuff. Just put the walls down. Like right now, we're in an environment where you you should be putting your walls down and figuring it out. Now out there, yeah, stack them holes up brick by brick. You feel me? It, that's what you need to do to protect yourself. But right here in this space, we're supposed to be bring it on down. Let me be receptive. Let me be able to, you know, yeah, I want love, but let me be able to receive it. You know what I'm saying? So and that's not just you. That's that's a lot of you. <laughs> you know. So I don't know. I think y'all. We gonna work it out. I, I think y'all, y'all, just don't come back on the finale with one match, man. Cause listen, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't go crazy and start just doing the most, switching it up and, and doing all this extra stuff. Let's just let's just do a little bit of tweaking, just a little bit. Just a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> all right, that's it, y'all. I'll see y'all next week. If loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. I said, if loving you was wrong, it wouldn't feel so right. If loving you was wrong, they can lock me up for life. First things first, it could never be another match.